and Ace from Gladiators. But the love of her life was the singer with a boy band called Dane Bowers. He was the love of your life, Dane, wasn't he? He was. Absolute love of my life. Don't hide the way you feel. I gave up half my career. I know he doesn't think it. He didn't want me to model, so I did give a lot of my glamour modelling up. And when I started working, I used to think, I really don't want to be doing this because I know Dane's not going to like this. Their relationship ended acrimoniously. It was when he, like, got involved with Victoria Beckham. I think he really hurt her terribly. In fact, I'm so pleased Kate really made it big for, one of, for that reason. Jordan told me that after working with Victoria Beckham, he was a bit up himself. I know for a fact if he didn't do that song with Victoria, we'd be together, and I know that 200% and all my friends would agree with me. But there you go. Dane, you're out of your mind. This tune's gonna punish you. They'd split up before my filming, but on one occasion, they were both booked to appear at a charity football match. He didn't have much to say about her. I think Kate's... That's about it, really. Jordan wasn't the type of person to take an insult lying down. The spat with Dane was over in a flash, but the fallout with Victoria Beckham went on for years. At the start of filming, Jordan was seeing the Manchester United star Dwight York. She'd met him at a London nightclub. It had been a bit on-off, but at the time was going well. Today, I'm going to go up to Manchester, be my man. Has he missed you? No. Yes, he do miss me. <laughs> and change your shape just one more time. A lot of boyfriends had a problem with Jordan's career. She may have created a slutty image, but she didn't sleep around. Nice. There was a huge gulf between the raunchy public persona of Jordan and the private life of Katie Price. Smile with somebody. Whee! Whee! At this time, she shared a house with her friend Sally. It was a bungalow. It was so unglamorous, hardly a lifestyle of the rich and famous. And the cameras are on, just giving them their lectures. They're not allowed to film anywhere from there to there, just the heads. <laughs> no, right? In the cupboards. And yet, she'd recently been given a contract with the Daily Star worth 150 grand. She was in the papers most days and had a famous boyfriend and yet lived here. It was as if her fame had happened so fast, her life hadn't caught up with it yet. Just drop me thing. Hello? Ah, wouldn't you like to know, eh? While filming, Dwight York called. <laughs> Do you want to speak to her indoors? <laughs> All right, mate, I'll pass you over. Bye. Hello. How are you? She was quite coy about it and left the room. Katie didn't seem to fit into the world of footballers' wives. She wasn't happy to be simply the girlfriend of a famous man. She wanted to be famous and successful in her own right, and that determination to be in the public eye had its drawbacks. Like the time she got back from a photo shoot to find the bungalow had been burgled. Look, you bitch. You slag, look. It was as if the intruder had targeted the Jordan they'd been reading about in the papers. And my car's gone. They'd nicked my car, yeah, because my keys were here. Yeah, they'd nicked my fucking car. I'm sorry, I don't mean to swear. That's why my car's gone. Because they'd nicked my keys. And it's got all my private stuff in that car. Oh, let me just run over to the neighbours. It gets better, the footage, for you, oh, doesn't no. it, Rich? Well, I feel terrible for you. So do I. She was paying the price for an image she had created. Can you let your legs go through the bars? Yeah. I could do a different stuff, Martin. Sure, sure. I think this fact worried her, and she felt she had the potential to become something more than just a glamour model, like a singer. She wanted to have a talent. Good. What she's wanted to do as a glamour model, and now she wants to change into doing like 
music is, is, you know, you just don't stop still at one thing in your life in any career, do you? I could have done a cheesy pop song, it would have sold, yeah. Probably, because they do. Around the pool, me in a bikini. But how predictable and boring is that? But it's interesting because that's, that's what, you know, your, your average glamour model would aspire to do. That's what I don't want to do. I don't want to be, I want to be original. I don't want to be that predictable. But it wasn't just Katie who had this ambition. A battle was brewing between agents, all wanting a slice of the Jordan pie. Up until that time, Sam Bond ran all her modelling assignments. But then Katie brought in a new young manager called Chris Nathaniel, who had a background in music. I like to, you know, I don't want to be seen as a manager that just seems to go out boozing with my clients, but, you know, I think it's nice to socialise occasionally. I know it's a dream. Yeah, I know. So I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the same one that will make sure that, you know, that you're all yeah. right and all the rest of it. She wanted him to launch her career as a singer. Yeah. Okay, See you yeah. later. See you later. Have a good one. Yeah. Make it Bye. work. Yeah. So the aim is to take her to um, become a pop star, take her on to being a celebrity, into the film world, um, into presenting her own TV show. It's endless, really. These days, he represents Premiership footballers and has a penthouse suite in Canary Wharf. The view that we see every morning and come into work sets your head for the challenge, doesn't it? <laughs> it's, um, it's good. It uh, makes you aspire to something, I suppose, all those banks there. But back then, he was a bit naive. Um, I mean, this is the sort of stuff that I don't really want to see her doing. Don't want to take away that edge that she's got. Don't take away the sexiness or anything like that. It's just to make it classy. And that's what I'm about. I'm about classiness. The idea of giving Jordan a classy makeover back in 2001 was almost laughable. Actually, that top would look quite nice, wouldn't it, with nothing underneath? She was still making a lot of money for Sam Bond and Jeannie Savage through her glamour modelling. James! Understandably. They didn't like the idea of anyone else getting involved. Jeannie, are you going to hurry up or what? Don't fucking stop. Wait, what did I just do to the camera? I said, watch this, I'll wind her up. You fell for it. <laughs> you fell for it. Well, don't wind me up, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, I had a letter from Chris Nathaniel with Kate's signature saying that everything must go through him or Adam Van Stratton. And if any work comes my way, I then have to go to them to for them to negotiate it, which is, you know, like I say, I'm, I'm not prepared to do. There was quite a few other people, wasn't there, involved? Yeah, I think uh, there was a few people involved, but everyone had their own role. Um, at times, people would cross into, the, into foreign territory, if you like, but uh, it was all fun and games, and uh, I knew exactly what my brief was, uh, of which I followed that, and uh, I think I ruffled a few, a few feathers. This Daily Star photo shoot at a farm happened shortly after Chris Nathaniel had started. There was a definite atmosphere. Let's have a look. You look gorgeous. Look there. Oh, I've got to take a month out. I fucking hate work. Look, I want to go home. Come on, do another roll. Oh, quickly. fuck that. We've got five shots to do. I've really got to go. She's just a nightmare today. Jordan was in a bad mood. The fighting between the agents was getting to her. Basically, they all hate each other. It doesn't matter if I say it on camera, because they all know it anyway. Um, which is a bit hard for me, because I'm, like, picking in the middle. And they're all, like, going like that, nee, 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 in my ear. I just wish they'd all be happy. I filmed with Chris for about four months, and in that time he got involved in a number of Jordan projects, like these T-shirts. You'd be glad to know that we have got these T-shirts for you to have a look at, my dear. Yeah. At least they got my size right. Yes, yeah. that's yeah. 2D. There's been lots of speculation I about like that, the but... pink. But nothing had happened with the music. He wouldn't be the first to have that experience. It didn't end that well with you and Kate, did it, if I remember rightly? No, it didn't. And it was, I think, myself and Kate personally, we never had any issues at all. Um, in fact, we hardly fell out together. I think it was all the elements around us who wanted to end the relationship as quickly as they could because they just weren't getting their own way. Bottom line is